So a little bit about me. My name is Annie. I work at Salesforce. And this is, I'm here to talk about a project called Refocus. And it's something that we open sourced recently. So within six months of open sourcing it, we have a few instances running internally as well as a few external customers as well. So what's really outstanding about Refocus is very much self-serve, even though it's API first. And we internally we have over 2,000 users and we're growing. So a lot of people see value in Refocus and today I'm gonna to share with you what it is and how you can get the most out of it. So let's start off with what Refocus is. It's a data visualization platform, but more than that, it solves a very specific problem. And the problem we're talking about is the monitoring problem, yay! I know, monitoring doesn't sound very sexy. But monitoring is important in two ways. First, if your system is running well, you want to know with very basic visualizations that it is doing well. Second, if something, if your system is crashing, ideally the visualization should help you pinpoint what the root cause is so you can troubleshoot and get it up and running ASAP. If you have a startup, you probably start off with no monitoring whatsoever, and that is fine until something crashes. And then you'll have monitoring around the aspects of the system that crashed. And so over time, you have more systems and more things that crash, and you have more and more of these data visualizations. And there's, it looks pretty good, right? You have lots of tools and graphs and alerts. What's wrong with this? There can be a problem when there's lots and lots of dashboards. It would be hard to get an instant visibility into the data. So when you have so many graphs and alerts and what have you, then it's hard to tell at a glance how well your system is doing. You will need to rely on special personnel to tell you, okay, so this database is doing fine and that one is not doing so fine and so on, so on. And if something crashes, you better hope that your engineer who knows these graphs, that he's there to help you, because if he's not, then just take longer time to troubleshoot. So the ideal situation in monitoring is you can tell at a glance how well your system is doing. And that is where Refocus comes in. So Refocus, the most important thing it does, it aggregates metrics. So it's API first, meaning you can monitor anything that has an API endpoint. It also accommodates multiple data types, so off-the-shelf industry software may not um, respond well to strings, enums, or ranges, but we allow you to map that to certain statuses, which will map to a UI. And it's also self-serve, so how we got to lots of users internally is because it's self-serve, meaning developers can stream in data through the API, and the managers can update data and view information using the UI, and this is makes Refocus really adaptable, and it's also good for reporting because if the manager has some questions, they can just go to the dashboard. And also it scales affordably. There's off-the-shelf monitoring software that charges by license, but we refocus, it's open source, you deploy it to your favorite cloud, and you just pay for what you use. Mostly refocus, it's a platform where you can update the visualization in real time. Why real time? Because it's monitoring, right? So old data doesn't really help us. So this is a screenshot of Refocus. This is actually taken from one of our external customers, Zora. You can see Refocus in the lower left, and there's other three monitors. Basically what it says is that the other three monitors show data that Refocus aggregates. And you can see it's a very concise visualization. Everything is green. And in this case, the status green maps to uh, OK. So everything, all the systems are functioning OK. And this is a very concise view. I mean, you can see this from across the room, and you'll know that your system is doing fine. I mean, obviously, you would take the one in the lower left rather than the three other graphs. One thing that differentiates Refocus from some of the off-the-shelf monitoring software is that we have our own API um, that which maps to our standardized data model. Now, this is really important 
because we allow you to develop lenses on top of refocus and this standardized data model makes the lenses, which is data visualizations, reusable across different data sets. Now, of course, as a, visual, uh, as a monitoring software, there is need, we need to monitor something, so the subject is the system under monitor. Now, the subject it, in refocus is hierarchical, and it makes sense um, when you're monitoring systems that are subsystems of the other systems. So, for example, if you, have, if you want to monitor all the airports in the United States, you will have the subject root as US, and then its children will be different states, and their children will be different cities, and their children will be different airports. On top of subjects, you want to monitor some aspects of that system. So then we have aspects. So aspects are the names of the metrics you want to monitor. Um, on, on, in addition to names, there's also specifies the mapping of how the value of the metric maps into a certain status. So this, in this way, we'll, refocus will take a, a lots of ranges, a different, um, different values for the metrics. So it can be an enum, it can be a string, it can be a range, and you can map that into a status. So for example, you will care about the number of delays at an airport. If their airport has lots of delays, you probably don't want to go to that airport. So you can see less than 10 delays is a good airport, so zero to nine, the range will map into an okay status. And lastly, we have a sample. So obviously, monitoring, it is real time, so we need constant data streaming in. So the sample is the value of a metric, sorry, the, the value of an aspect of a subject. So for example, a uh, sample could be the number of delays at SFO at 11 a.m. today. So that would be a sample. And you have a value attached to that, and depending on the the value that will map to a status and that would ch maybe change the, um, the UI. We'll see in an example. We'll have a demo coming up really shortly. So what are the use cases? We went over the API. We can see it's really soft serve, but what do you actually use it for? Well, we use it internally for a number of use cases. The one way is to model processes. So a lot of companies that already have something like this where Okay, you have different subjects along the different rows, and there's a standardized process you go through routinely, and you want to check the state at each process. And this needs to be in, your in real time. So we have something like that internally, which is a lens that none of us in the core team built, but somebody else built. And they have ported that over onto Refocus, and it actually works very well. Um, so the reporting dashboard is actually one higher level up. So this is actually for the view for the executives. They want to see at a glance how well uh, a database is doing. And then the one on the right, so overview of system health, that is what we use internally to monitor our data centers. So we can see at a glance which data center is having some problems. So the ones with problems would be red, and uh, machines that are okay would be green. So this way we will know very quickly if something is doing well or not. So we have a demo. Oh, and that is the link for refocus. So we are open source, and we are welcoming contributions. So and there's a one button deploy if you want to test it out afterwards. Have a demo here. So you can see there's real time events being streaming in. And you can see that these are some of the airports that we have in, um, what is this, in America. Yes, this is the American uh, airports. And the yellow means, you can see that there's a warning, means there are some of the delays in these airports. We can show all the airports in America. Of course, there's more than just these. And we can see that the Alabama, Birmingham airport is actually doing well because there's no delays. So this is, uh, this is a multi-table lens, and it's also open source, and we'll, I'll share the link at the very last slide. Basically, it is really good because you can tell, narrow down to only the um, subjects that are having problems. The cool part about this refocus is that you can actually change the lens, change the lens, and it will render a different data visualization with the same set of data. Yeah. 
So this is a collapsible tree lens and it's also open source. So if you wanna search for SFO, then we can see that SFO is part of California and yes, so it's a, you can see the hierarchy and also um, any last updated time. So all of these you can, are custom built. Um, basically we'll go into later why would you build a lens and how would you build it. But these are basically different lenses solve different use cases. And I also wanna show you one that we, um, that it's a different lens and it's a different data set, but this one is really cool because it shows uh, the, the number of act active contributors per open source project. And we are actually getting some contributors, so that is good. Um, and a different view for this would be the multi-table view. And that will show you, um, so red means there isn't so much activity, but if you wanna see which um, projects that have the most activity, that would be the ones that are in green. So yes, refocus is very cool with that. And then there's the uh, subjects. So if you are an exec and you don't want to um, stream in data with, with um, the API, you can go through here and change the hierarchical data set here. So it's very much um, self-serve. And there, are, of course, there is the uh, V1 docs, uh, which shows all the API data points. So that is a brief demo of refocus. Um, so we'll move on to what is a lens, because I know this is a data visualization crowd, and if you're curious about building your own lens, um, we are going to go into some source code, and of course I'll share the code at the end. Basically a lens can be just as simple as a JavaScript file, and you will want to build your own lens to solve a specific use case that is not um, solved with the off-the-shelf software. So for example, the multi-table lens that I just showed, that one you can toggle to see only the systems that are under duress. Um, and then the, uh, the collapsible tree lens, which is the one on the, over here, will show you the details of the subjects and where it is in the hierarchy. So depending on your use case, you might choose to build your own lens versus using some of the already open source lenses. Now after you build it, you can compile it and deploy it to refocus. Really cool. Okay, how to build a lens? Obviously use the uh, refocus lens developer kit because it makes lens development so much easier than it would have been otherwise. So we'll go into a simple lens example. Um, so we'll see in the, um, in the refocus LDK, can you guys see this? Yeah, you can see this. So there are lenses, you can make your own lenses under here. So the multi-table lens, which I showed, um, can be a little daunting to go over. That's the, like the, the one with black background. But we have an easier one, which is much simpler. So it's just this file, this file, and the utils file. That's just three files, and you'll have a lens up and running. And just to show that you can build anything with refocus, it doesn't have to be like enterprise -y or very, very sophisticated. Here's a pretty superfluous example that I'm sure you'll enjoy. It is a very simple a whack-a-mole game, and you can see, thanks to the uh, refocus LDK, as we define in here, we have data streaming in every second, and we can play a game of whack-a-mole. Um, so we're just waiting for some moles to show up. Yes. Okay. So I have two points, three points, and so on, so on. So <laughs> this, this just shows you that it doesn't have to be really complicated. This is actually just three, three JavaScript files, and one file is exclusively for the game logic, so it's only two JavaScript files, and you get a lens. And this is open source, and the links will be at, at the end. Basically, how it works is that each, col uh, each role is a, sorry, each column is a subject, and each role is an aspect, and these samples, which are the flashing yellow thingies, are the moles, so you want to whack them and get points. Just very simple lens demo.
So now we went over what a lens is and why would you build one. Let's go over some of design concerns because these are the problems that we ran into and may serve you to know that what they are. So first of all, refocus relies on hierarchical data. So sometimes you can use like flat data, basically just one level of nodes. But um, there is some design limitations with visualizing hierarchical data. Because after looking through all of these options, we found there's just these groups of data visualization that are really good for visualizing hierarchical data. The challenge with this is it's, it may be hard to tell a story that is immediately visually impactful because data can be complex and sometimes the data visualization may make things even look more complex and then your story will be lost. So that is a challenge. Another one is visualizing change. So refocus relies on um, data streaming in. You can define how often the data streams in, but when the state changes, what are you going to do to get the, readers, uh, the viewer's attention? So there is multiple things you can do. You can make things larger, change color, blink. Basically anything except sound ideas can be, sound effects can be a good idea. So to summarize, Refocus solves these problems in no particular order. First of all, it aggregates data uh, with a flexible data model. So this, this is the data model that you define, either via the API or the, via the UI. It accommodates multiple data types because the, in the aspects, remember, we can map different um, data types onto a status, which will be displayed. And then the self-serve self aspect, it's, there's the API and the UI, which means it can be used by many audiences and adapt to requirements and also scales affordably because it's essentially a web app. So there's no license fees. Um, so as I mentioned before, we are trying to build a community around Refocus. There has been lots of open source contributions, um, both from within Salesforce and where some external, or have external customers as well. But any feedback or comments would be very much appreciated. These are the links that of everything I covered so far. So basically anything on github.com slash salesforce slash um, refocus. And that's the simple lens that I showed. And the refocus lens multi-table, the one that we use for enterprise monitoring, is also open source. And that's it for me. Thank you.